we are going to do the kit of the months april kit of the month reveal and um, product showcase um i hope i am let me see this is my second time doing the doing it by f youtube live just trying to <laughs> center it on here hi barbara okay lowering the volume on my ipad here okay so as you can see i don't even have this covered you can see it right away and the theme for this month is vintage or uh, rather victorian tea um i think i'm going to lower my camera just a bit just hold on just a second so we can see things closer i think this is better Barbara, yes, cats again. Yep, <laughs> more cats. So um, I've been wanting to do this Marcy for a long time. We did have um, Tea Time Marcy a while back in one of the kits even, I think, but that was probably like five, six years ago. And as you know, our images evolve and um, this is the new version. And this Marcy is just so fun to color. So, um, well, one of the things that you can already see that we don't have the rubber stamps yet, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to hold this any longer for you. Um, hi, Chris, for you to wait any longer to see what's included in your April kit. Um, as you know, the March kits, we had the delay with the rubber stamp manufacturing. We kind of just finished shipping, I think, uh, March kits last week. So with that being said, there is still uh, like a backlog of orders of the rubber stamp orders um, from our manufacturer. So they're like, they're working in the queue. So this kit is in the queue and we should receive the stamps, rubber stamps, it will be red rubber. And um, we should get it sometimes early next week and we're gonna start shipping right away. Um, yeah, Barbara, yes, you're, you're already, uh, um, looked at the, at the script on the sentiments so yes yeah, so because the Marcy is like so fancy she's such a lady I could kind of just see her writing in the in the ink pen um you know the the old kind of the uh what is it called like the is the feather and you guys know what I'm talking about so the script that that the sentiments had to be in script for her so the um she'll come with two sentiments your rubber stamp will come with two sentiments um one it says sending a, a cup of cheer your way and the second one says tea warms the heart and comfort the soul and this is our Marcy and she's wearing this pretty dress and her hair is made up um she has flowers in her hair and she's holding a cup of tea. So this image is actually so cursive calligraphy. Yeah, Bar Barbara, yeah. But what, what's the pen called? The, um, the one that, you know, like you have to, like it has the metal tip and you drip into the, you dip it into the um, ink well to write with it. So um, this Marcy is amazingly easy to color. Um, if you look at her hair, these areas are open, so you just do your flicks. And on here, I just did like little flicks on each um, on each section, and it's really, really quill pen. Yes, Paula, thank you. That's what I was thinking, quill pen. We actually even have the die of the quill pen die. Um, I think it might have been even the retired section with the um, and, the, and discounted. So if you guys don't have that one, the quill pen, yes. <laughs> uh, it would really look even cute with this Marcy, with the, um, you know, with the sentiment and adding that that die as a, as a, just an element on the card. And the dress is also really easy to color because as you can see, like on mine, I have a lot of areas and colored, but I just added like rounded sections here to create this, um, the folds on this area and then just some folds on the sides. It's very easy to color. I decided to keep mine kind of in the same, in the same um, color tone, but I'll show you some of our design team um, 
cards or the, the, the photos of their cards rather. And there are so many different ways and even the paper piece in, it's just so, so pretty. And then in the cup, I just added like a little bit the brown there for uh, for the tea and um, this part here, so you, I colored, it was designed, um, so Marcy is wearing gloves, but you can also color, so this, this becomes part of the sleeve with the little uh, ruffles going up and then you can color her hands as the skin tone. So this is our beautiful Marcy, so this is Victorian Marcy and then we have for the second stamp sets we're going to have cats and these are just so so cute just look at these cute little faces <laughs> so we have one cat holding the cup another one chilling in the cup um, you know you know cats if it's uh, if it fits I see it's right and then we have another one like dressed like a gentleman so you can see let me put it on the white here the card base so you can see look how pretty marcy is she is just so pretty and you can see you can put uh, a cat with her isn't it adorable it's just so so cute and you can put you know more cats you can put both of this like this you can put just one you can put another one is it cute can have all of them or you can of course have the cats without Marcy <laughs> they're just so so cute now the sentiments that come um, with this with the um, with the second stamp set you love that color um, Chris that's the same color that um, that I used on what was Marcy the um, sock hop Marcy uh, yeah, we talked about this color. I, I just love it. And you know, the, I love this color in, um, actually, it's one of my favorite colors in real life, like for clothes. I just absolutely adore this color. So yeah, so the, uh, that's the same one. And this is with Olos. And then the sentiments that come with the cats are time for tea, just you and me. So you can have little cats with the sentiment here then we have you are terrific so you can use it with this cat or you can use it with this cat then we have a cup full of birthday wishes so you can see you can even just have it like this just a really simple card with the sentiment and then this one will go with that too a cup full of birthday wishes and then we have another sentiment, and this is like two-part sentiment, and this sentiment really like cracks me up. So this sentiment says, there. well, as I said, it's a two-part. So first sentiment says, how do you take your tea? And of course you can use it with just with the, just with the images without the second part of, of the sentiment. But the second part of the sentiment, this is like, um, this is like dad's joke kind of thing, but it cracks me up. How do you take your tea? Seriously, very seriously. So you, like, I really just love that kind of pun. Uh, Paula, you love this Marcy Annabelle uh, and Bellum look. Okay, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I'll have to look it up. Um, but what I was thinking, you know, those cards that I make sometimes when um, when you open and the, like them, the secret message appears. So I was thinking that would be so cute to do it. Like the, on the front, you will say, how do you take your tea? And then when you open up, I think this one would be so cute. And he pops up and says, seriously, very seriously. <laughs> Can you guys like hear it? Like I, I can't do English accent because I, you know, I can't even speak with English without Russian accent, but this just really, really cracks me up. So I hope you appreciate it and enjoy that, that sentiment uh, in particular. Okay, so now let's move on and look at the dies that are included in the kit. Um, before we look at the dies, just kind of quickly wanted to mention, just in case there is somebody who is not familiar with our um, with our kit of the month. So the kit of the month is the monthly kit, and there are two options available. You can um, you can create a subscription, and subscription is thirty nine ninety nine a month, and subscription um, with the subscription it locks in the lowest price of $39.99. So it doesn't matter uh, if the kit is uh, you know, $70, $80 value, you'll only be paying $39.99. With a subscription 
we, um, we ask for the minimum term of three months and then it rolls over months, two months. So the value of this kit, including the stamps, there'll be rubber stamps, and the three of the dies that we're going to look at in a minute is $79.99. So with your subscription, at the $39.99, you can see you're getting 50% off. So the three, three months minimum term is required, but it locks in your lowest pricing. So both of the options are available on our website at lalalandcrafts.com. So when you go on lalalandcrafts.com, from there, just click on kit of the month and you'll see, you'll see the... Um, all, both of the options there. So if you decide that you don't want to subscribe, but you really love this kit and can't wait until it's released next year, because that's another thing about our our kit of the month that it's not available um, until it's the products are added um, to the regular range in about six months to a year. So if you just can't wait for it, for it to get these products into your hands and start playing, you can also purchase this kit individually without the subscription. And again, the pricing is $79.99 with two rubber stamps and three dies. But with your like um, package deal, the bundle pricing, you'll be saving 25% and your price will be $59.99. So again, at lalalandcrafts.com, that's where we'll, you'll go. And both of the options are available there. So now let's take a look at the dies. So of course, because it, it, it's a tea, tea, tea time, uh, Victorian tea time set, we we designed the, the teapot and the teacup is the saucer. So this is the teacup. The die measures about three and a half by four and a quarter. So you can see it's a pretty big size die. And when you get the die, you'll need to use your wire cutters and separate. So you'll pull, you'll um, die cut, you, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll use wire cutters and you'll remove these two pieces. Right? So when you die cut it, this will be your main shape. And then these two pieces will be separate. These two pieces will be separate. So to assemble it, I'm just gonna pull this up just a little bit so we can see it. So to assemble it, so that this, um, this part with the, the, the larger part is the bottom of our teapot so it's gonna go on like so see how fancy it is of course you can use it just like this but when once you put this bottom on it becomes even fancier and of course this is the this is the style that we were going for for this set so this goes on the bottom like this and we also added this cut lines to create um, to create the dimension of the teapot and then this part here can be added two ways. So this goes right here to separate the areas of the pot and the, and the lid. And you can put it either facing scallops facing up like this. So that creates the same kind of curve. Or if you like to, you can also turn it this way and it also works. So whichever way you put it on, it works both ways. So I'm just going to add mine on the same way the um, the way it was designed the with the scallops facing up. But as I said, it just you can position it going down as well, and also you can um, you can cut on the like you can cut this off here, and you can add. So let's see if I cut this. I'm going to use it on the main shape. So if I continue with this and cut the spout off. Look, this is like the, um, <laughs> and I can continue here and cut the handle off. I was gonna do some something else and I'll show you what, what I was thinking, but look, this this is like the, um, the sugar or the cream, can, you can like make a set of, uh, of different things here. But what I was, I was saying, like if you put it now, if I glue it onto another one with the base, now this gives me even more dimension, right? So this just gives more dimension like this, right? So that's, um, I know it's white on white, kind of hard to see, but in, you know, in real life, it definitely, you can definitely feel that there is more dimension here. So that's just another option of, of using it. 
And then um, let's take a look at uh, the second die. And this one is the teacup and saucer. So this die measures about three and one eighths by about two inches wide. And this one you don't need to separate. You can keep everything together. And I'll show you all of the pieces that you'll die cut and how um, you'll assemble it. So with this die, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five different shapes. So this is the this is the teacup itself. And again, it has the little bottom. So we can assemble it, put it together like this, just the same way as on our teapot. So just a dab of glue here. And this goes under. And again, we created, we put this cut lines here to create the dimension. And then this part, like oval with the scallops on the top is the back of your teacup. So now it looks like, the, you can definitely use it like this, but you can also add this part here from behind. So now it looks like we are looking at it like kind of from um, a little bit from the top and you can color this to have it look like there's tea there. Let's see if this, you can even cut this cat out from the little teacup and have him sitting in the die cut. He'll be cute. Let's see if this one fits. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, look, he can be cutting out from the, from the teacup too. It's cute. Maybe even from the, from the teapot, if we cut off the top of it, he can be coming out from the teacup. So there's definitely um, different ways to do it and you can play and figure out what, you know, what, how creative you can be. And I'll show you, after I do the product showcase, I'll also show you the photos of, from our design team. So you'll have more ideas on how to use this kit. And um, I know I mentioned in the, in the um, April, no, in the March kit revealed that I want to start doing the color along and craft along again. And because of the kit being so delayed, this is the March kit, um, I didn't schedule it, but I still wanna do it. So I'm thinking we'll do maybe one, like big one for both of the kids for the, for the March going back and we'll do one for the April. But again, I just wanna make sure that all of the stamps are sent so we can do it together. And then the other two shapes are the saucer. So this is the main shape. And then this piece here, you would just align it. It matches the bottom of the um, of this oval kind of shape. And that creates the saucer. And I just die cut it from the white cardstock here, so just so we can see how they work. But of course you can die cut from different color cardstock, you can die cut from pattern papers, you can die cut from white cardstock and then color with markers or pencils or watercolors or um, or ink it with the with the ink so you can see. So now we have the now we have the cup and the saucer. Cute. Just kind of like what Marcy is holding in her in her hands. You can also put the cup a little bit lower into this space where this uh, saucer is. So then it looks like it's sitting inside of it. So different, definitely so, so many different options. And then for the third die, we have um, stylized rows. And this die measures about two and a quarter by two. And again, you'll need to use your Y cutters and remove two of these shapes from the inside. And then when you die cut it, when you die cut it, you're gonna have, I die cut twice, but you're gonna have three shapes. So there is a tiny one. And then you're going to have leaves, set of leaves. So for this rose, you basically, hi Julie, um, color along. Yeah, you would love the color along. I know um, we're going, we're going to, I'm going to try my best to fit it in the schedule somehow. I really, really, really want to do it. So with this rose, it's pretty much, you're just going to put the shapes on top of each other. And um, 
it just really like it's the name suggests it's a stylized rose so there is um you know like something that i usually like sometimes dribble or like the um you know with markers on the um on the cards but and it has these two pretty leaves of course you can use the leaves with any of the other flowers or anything like that and you can put the leaves on one side you can um you know put them on two different sides this also fits in on top of the of the teacup tea, i'm sorry teapot so you can have it on the tip tea, uh tea, oh my goodness <laughs> teapot teacup teapot um as a um as an embellishment there and of course you can just use it as a filler or you know as an um as a part of your card design and again you can they cut it from different colors you can ink it inking it i think would be really pretty let me see if i have i have pink color here let's ink one let's ink one of these roses so we can see how pretty it is inked so i'm just going to use um, picked raspberry here probably another like victorian velvet you know you guys victorian velvet color i don't have it handy here but that would be a perfect color for this marcy maybe i'll use um worn lipstick instead but uh, victorian velvet that's the one i need it's a pretty rose barber, thank you. We haven't had, had one like this before. So if we ink it, just give it color. I think I'm just gonna do like on the outside mostly and leave the center lighter. And it's so easy, like this rose is just definitely like, just so easy, just three little shapes. And if you have um, flower shaping tools or just like styluses, you can definitely give it a little bit of the shape. So it's beautiful, so pretty. And then um, the leaves, you can either like die cut them from green, like I have them already die cut, or we can ink, ink them. The white ones we can ink them where are my white ones you can ink this this green and this is um twisted citron yeah that's pretty where's my second one Just wanted to do, <laughs> make sure I'm doing the different leaf. I die cut it twice. So here is the second one. It's pretty, right? So this, those are the three dies. So now that we know that every, what's included in the kit, I want to show you different samples from our design team and they're going to start posting um on our blog and on our they'll be posted on our blog but they're going to start posting on their social media and in our group today it's 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 live right now julie you might have to refresh well you probably don't hear me but thank you barbara for commenting so let's take a look at all these different ideas from our design team. And then I'll also, mm, before I do that, maybe we should look at other products that I think would work perfectly with this, um, with this kit. So um, we have different doilies. Doilies are always perfect for the tea time, of course. So the, um, this, is, this is called Mandala Doily. And look how pretty that would be, is a, like even the backdrop for Marcy. So, um, and these are older, all older dies that you can, you, you probably have some of them already in your crafty stash. Uh, Barbara, I know there's not more people right now, but um, actually because, I think because I didn't announce it far in advance, I only posted it in the group today, like three hours ago, <laughs> just trying to, just trying to make sure that I can actually like, you know, be ready. Didn't want, didn't want to schedule it. And then, um, 
risk be rescheduling again. So the uh, mandala doily is one of the options. Then we have um, half mandala. Um, I thought I die cut it also. Here you go. Just um, didn't didn't pop all of the little pieces, but um, you guys get an idea. So there's also half mandala doily, and look, you can put like if you do the longer card or taller card, it can be like a little drop for Marcy from the bottom, or you can put your cats here, maybe like a border over it. There's also um, this border called small scallop border, and it's really, really old one. So maybe even like this border can go on top of that, and then you can put your images. It's cute, Wendy, thank you. Or without, even without the doily, this, uh, this border just so, so cute. Anything like with the ruffles, with the doilies, uh, really, really cute for this for for this kit because of the of the design. So this is small scallops border here. Then we have a small doily, and this is a tiny doily that looks like this, and that would be really cute. You can put your teacup on this on the doily, and cute. And of course, you can add or just have it as a border for your images or have a little bit of this you know showing somewhere on your card behind Marcy or behind the layer so that's the other one then um, this die is called um, garden trellis and I think that would be really cute behind Marcy as well look at this like she's in the garden right and you can add flowers or flowers smaller flowers hi rose yeah you're it's okay um i'm we're still here and you can always you can always watch it later because it will be once we're, we do the live it will be here so you can add if i would have tatter rose it would go with this color so perfectly it would be prettier but you can see like you can build it up with this garden trellis i think it's just a nice such a nice drop for this marcy and with this garden trellis, you can also put it this way. So you can even like have it like this in front, or you can die cut two and have one here and one here. And then you can add other elements. I think it's just pretty. It's one of my favorite dies. That's why, <laughs> that's why I keep on, uh, you know, finding other ways to use it. And then um, as far as the borders go, like this is one of the older borders too, but it also can be really cute kind of like a table or, or a shelf for for your teapot. Is it cute? And then you can have a teacup standing. And you can even like use the sentiments without the images, right? Or with images. And this one is called um, stitched bracket border die just in case if you're looking for it looking for it in the store or looking for it in your stash stitched bracket border die then um i was just trying like to see what we have as far as more like vintage vintage looking <laughs> looking elements dies and stamps um for papers so this one is one of our very first dies and this one is called book tab and labels but because of the shape i think it would be really also pretty to do like a victorian for the victorian theme and then you can let's see if any of the sentiments fit into this label i think this one will fit in here so you can do like a label on there on your projects I think that's probably the only one the smallest one that will, will fit in here but you can also you know do different things this one will fit in here so these are not really like sentiment labels they're that just a labels but they just um, wanted to see what sentiments might fit in them then um, of course we have this uh, you can use of course all of the different sentiment sentiment die cards so like happy birthday you know, you can have happy birthday and it's very pretty and layered and you can put the cup, you know, in different areas. You can have it, the, the teapot behind it. You can put your images on top of it and then you can have like happy birthday and you're like, you're terrific like right here or something, you know, like you can combine the dice with the sentiments as well. Which border, um, Julie, um, 
is the, this is the one that um, I think you might have been asking because this was the last one. So this is stitched bracket border die. Yep, you're welcome. And then we have um, smile would be really cute too, right? I'm turning it this way because this is how the dice would look, uh, will go like, but you can, like it will fit like cute, like right here in this space, smile, and then you can add, you know, different um, sentiments. In, and of course you can mix and match sentiments. They don't have to be the cats with the cats or the, you know, sentiment that go with Marcy, go with Marcy. You can mix and match those. And then we have celebrate that you can also use, of course, for some occasions. And then we have enjoy. Enjoy would be really cute. And of course, thank you. Thank you is always good. And then this is the teapot I wanted to show you. This is the teapot that was released in the Wonderland release. So just wanted to show you the difference between two of these dies. And they are, um, they are similar in the size. This one is a little bit, tiny bit smaller, but they're totally different in styles, but you can also use them together. So if you already have this die, you can use like the teacup, you know, this teacup is uh, pretty kind of straightforward. This one is so much, um, fancier, but you can definitely use, like if you have this um, teapot, you can use, combine it, mix and match with this set. So then you'll have more options for all of your different tea or tea themed <laughs> cards. And then I wanted to show you the stencils. So this stencil is one of our older stencils, and this one is called All About the Lace. And I'll show you on the samples um, from our design team. But this stencil comes as a set of two. So there is this one large doily that will fit on your like six by six card. And of course you can also use partial. So you can just do like partial uh, corners or just on the bottom or just on the top, just on, like on one side or on the other side. So there are different, of course, uses um, to the large stencil like this. And then on the second stencil, I'll put it back on here so you can actually see it with the um, with the backing. So on this stencil, we have two smaller doilies that you can use, and then this border here. On this border here, you can use it as a full border. You can use it like as a full border on your cards, going uh, vertically or going horizontally, but you can also bring it down, for instance, like this, and just stencil the part of it or like on the top you can just stencil the part of it so like the, the um like a um lace coming down and even on the bottom if you want to stencil just the part of it you can use a piece of paper to mask the top of it and then you can stencil just the bottom and you can also stencil some of this on your on your die cut so you can stencil that would be so pretty you can stencil just like a part of the doily on the part of it or you can do it in the center and stencil that and the same on the teacup so this one is called all about lace and then the second stencil that i wanted to show you this was also released for the alice and one Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> For the Wonderland release. <laughs> I said it and then I just like took a step back a second to kind of, I don't know why, second guess myself. So this stencil has this really pretty roses. So um, you can you can even have it like over like this and look how pretty. Hi, Louise. Thank you for joining us. Look how pretty this Marcy would look like in this roses. And um, this rose stencil has um, roses and the leaves together. So you can do it as in one color or you can use the smaller brush and stencil roses one color and then the leaves in different color. Um, so that would be pretty, but also you can use this stencil to stencil on the die cuts. So this is what um, I was doing already on the um, on the other teapot, but it would be so, so pretty if you stencil because it's rounded. So if you stencil it this way, I just wanna make sure that um, you can kind of see it on the video. You can see the teapot from it. So like if you stencil this way, it will look like it has the, um, the roses going um, not printed, but painted on the teacup, and the, you can use some on the on the lid here. You can use some on the little teacup. 
where's my little teacup hiding you can use it on the teacup too so this is this is like the perfect 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 stencil to go with this set and also has um the second stencil that comes in this set and again because this was released in the wonderland release so this one has the the card suits but you know you know uh, also has the little roses so you can stencil these roses the the bottom roses so see how marcy looks so so pretty like she is walking in the rose garden and then you can add your die cuts you can add your cats or just the cat just just cute just cute 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 so a lot of fun play time here and um with our with our paper packs again um i just pulled kind of a few but it seems like almost like in each paper pack you can find some papers that would work so here this little flowers i think would be so perfect and any of the floral ones and any like even like with the hearts or with the with the lines like this this looks like the the um the spots from the teacup left that would be really cute then i pulled even the sparkle and shine paper pack but in this one i know it's not like completely victorian or vintage but if you look at some of these designs like this would be really cute even to die cut um, the teacup because of the colors but there are some with the with the roses so i think this would be even oh look this is even like the color like this mauve color look how pretty that is so this paper pack is called what did i do with the, with the cover of it sparkle and shine so um, this one is called sparkle and shine <laughs> i don't know what i did with it like things just disappear on me oh here it here it is here's the cover so sparkle and shine this is the one now I'm, i'll i'll be obsessed with this i definitely have to use this marcy with this paper because it's just the colors are just perfect and um what else we have here well on the black also we can do it on the black for look how pretty that is just love it i'm gonna pull that paper I'll have to pull that paper to the side to remember to use it. But even like this, uh, this paper, also perfect. I think that would be really, really pretty for this Marcy. And like the circles, like the, the dots are always pretty. So I think even though this is, this is not like Victorian or vintage at all, but that would definitely work with this set. So sparkle and shine. If you have this paper pack, you can pull that and play with it gorgeous right um julie is asking how many days to show up before you mail this um julie we don't have the stamps yet and they we should receive the stamps sometimes early next week i don't have the shipment date yet so the, um, and as you know all of our products are made in the u.s so it's not a delay with uh, like you know them coming from overseas it's just the delay in production and once they ship it we usually have them within two or three days so once i have the um so you have plenty of time to shop you love the ringlets Luis? yeah thank you so plenty of time to shop if you like if you place an order even like over the weekend or monday and tuesday i think you will be good and then I want to look at this. Um, well, we already looked at the live document. I showed it already, but I turned it upside down. Look at this little frames kind of thing. Would that be kind of cute to have um, maybe different paper on the on the uh, on the bottom? But that would be like a, like um, like a wallpaper kind of thing on on the back. Would that be cute? Just so so pretty. Like so many different papers. Even this one would work. Okay, I'm getting. You can hear I'm getting excited. <laughs> So there's so many different options. So in every paper pack, you should be able to find to find some paper that works with this Marcy. Um, Love You More paper pack is one of our older ones. So this one will be discontinued soon. Uh, we only have a few paper packs of this one left. So if you guys, if this is something that, if it's, this is this one of, one of your favorites, make sure you stock up. And there are some papers here, like with the roses and stuff. Like this one would be really pretty. This one is really, really pretty. I'm not gonna open it. Um, so this one would definitely uh, work. Love You More. Again, it's gonna be discontinued. Get it while you can. And then Spring Has Sprung, also one of the, our older paper packs. And um, this one has, this one will be discontinued soon too. So just, just, just a heads up, 
If it, this is one of your favorites, make sure you stock up. Um, I love all of these papers, kind of like with the muted tones, but with the gold, with the gold kind of droplets. You have six packs, Wendy. I can, I can, I can appreciate that. <laughs> I hear you. I would be, I would have a lot of two. But look how pretty that is. Like just little kind of droplets here, and you can definitely use this, this paper. So even if it's not like tea themed. We, we just looked at the designs, right? We don't get attached to the names. And definitely I did not color my images to any sp specific paper, but look how pretty that is. So definitely just look at, at the paper packs uh, that you already have. Just so pretty. Like this one all alone, oh, 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 this is, this is really, really pretty. See, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite colors. Uh, I think it's like mauve color. I love it. And it has like a little bit of the script there. So definitely take a look at what you already have. I mean, like if you want me to kind of scroll a little bit to see what other patterns are in this paper pack. So this, this side, oh, this would be so pretty. This would be so pretty to die cut like teapot. Um, let's see, to die cut like teapot to have that design showing from the, in, um, like it's painted on the teacup or on the tea, teapot and the teacup because these are like painted this this look like watercolor kind of that would be really really pretty all of these are my favorite color here you go again <laughs> oh this is pretty this is like totally like a vintage and pretty okay so <laughs> Okay, enough of that. So you got an idea, you got a, a gist, you got an idea what I'm trying to say, so many different paper packs that can be used with this, okay? So now let's take a look at what we have here from our design team. So you know, I like kind of doing show and tell uh, with this as well, just kind of point out how things were used and then um, you'll see them. You'll see this, all of this on the blog and on our, um, on our Facebook as well, but um, sometimes it's kind of fun to look at things together. So this card is from uh, from Samantha, and here Samantha used the paper from uh, one of the paper packs that I was just showing. I think this is from Live Documented Paper Pack. Yep. So it's this paper from Live Documented Paper Pack. And Sam paper piece, the part of the dress. You guys look at this. Isn't this amazing? Look how pretty that looks. Looks like fabric, right? So just a little bit of the shading over the over the paper and the paper piece. And then the rest of the of the um of the dress is in this pretty green. And see how Sam colored the sleeves. So this is what I was mentioning. You can either do the gloves or you can do this um this part as part of the sleeves. And then Sam um stenciled on the teapot. And you can use them also like they cut those um cut off those pieces um the top of the of the lid and there's a little piece here and here from either gold card stock or yellow card stock and the teacup tea was die cut from two different colors so you can definitely see all of the dimension there and then the background here is also from um so this one the background here is from love you more paper pack it's this paper right here so you can see you can mix and match papers from different paper packs too and so and here we have some used two of the layers two of the largest layers from the rose and then the medium layer or the no the small layer on the inside and then we have another card from sam from samantha here and here samantha used the um black and gray color in the teapot and look how pretty that looks it just has so much drama and then this paper here is from love you more paper pack so it's this paper right here and then um we have the the flower from two different colors from dark and and lighter red so you can see like a dimension and oh and on the teapot here sam used the stencil the um all about lace stencil with this the border this border here to stencil on. Look how pretty, just so, so, so dramatic. And the cats are colored in this burgundy pretty color, the, the vest and the teacup, just adorable. Time for tea, just you and me, isn't cute? Just so, so cute. And then what we have the next one. And this one is from Wendy. And Wendy colored Marcy's dress in blues. Look how pretty the blues are. And then, um, 
Do you guys see the texture that Wendy added to the dress, to the light parts of Marcy's dress here, um, to this center and on the outside and on the sleeves? And I'm not quite sure if um, Wendy used white gel pen or if she used a, like a colorless blender to remove the color, but it has so much pretty texture on these light areas. And then the cat is so dandy, the gentleman is standing here. And then Wendy used the part of this large doily uh, stencil that I was showing you guys. And then we have the three roses with the leaves here. So pretty. Then this is the second one card from Wendy. And here Wendy stenciled the border, the, um, the, um, the scallop border or the lace, the lace border, and then she fuzzy cut it and glued it onto the card. And the, the paper here is the paper that we looked at from live documented paper pack is this paper right here with the frames. So it creates a really nice drop. And then we have the teapot, which is, um, which has gold accents. You guys look at all of this glitter accents. I just love it. And then Wendy used um, another dye here. So this is from flower wreaths dye. And the, so it comes with different um, flowers. So you can mix and match the dyes. And then Wendy stacked three cups here. So funny, so cute. And then see like, yeah, so see, this is the same idea that I was showing. Um, I didn't even realize that, but yes. So Wendy here used the little, this cat from the stamp and he is picking out from the die cut stack of cups and those the gold um the gold on those leaf the um the handles is really really pretty i can't wait to see this card in real life and then this card from donna has more of the kind of vintage dress dre distressed look so here um donna distressed uh, put distress ink we can see on the uh, on the teacup and die cut from um maybe craft cards so i can kind of hard to see on the photo. And then this is the one of the papers that we looked at from one of the paper packs we had I had here. Oh, the um the spring has found paper pack. It's this this which one is it? It's this one here. <laughs> it's just that 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 part doesn't have the drops but it's um the stripes right there. And then we have our two cats standing here talking to each other, time for tea, just you and me, the same um, sentiment on this one. And then this is this card is from Donna and Donna colored Marcy in a pretty pink dress. And then there are little flowers on the teacup. Um, and the the teacup was die cut from the gray and the dark gray colors. And there's, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's also stenciling on this teacup, which is pretty. And then we have the paper from um, from the spring or love you more paper pack. And then we have the rose here. So there's so many, so many ways you can see you can color Marcy and the cat. So this um, Marcia for, for this month's colored with pencils. And look how soft this cat looks. Like the coloring is just so, so soft. And Marcia tried to replicate the coloring of her own cat. So it has some gray and some orange spots there. So just so he's so adorable. Just love him. And then um, Marcia, um, it looks like Marcia inked the, um, the teapot a little bit. Uh, this may be blue and then the pink um, accents here. And then we have the, the roses, the oval from the roses from, um, from Wonderland stencil set. And then the rose was also um, inked with the light pink color. So just this like soft and pretty colors. And then the background here, the background is from the large stencil in uh, All About Lace stencil set. And then uh, Marcia used uh, sentiment a cup full of birthday wishes and this was die cut with the scalloped sentiment labels die so you can see it, the sentiment fits there and this is another card from Marcia and on this card Marcia made it as a is a tea um is the tea holder kind of thing so there's um there's a um um oh my goodness <laughs> I woke up yesterday not feeling well, and I guess it's like a residual. I can't I, I can't find the words the um the tag, and I think I think this is the medium um not the largest one from the large 
large rounded text, but probably another side down. And then um, this 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 is the left. No, this is the right pocket. And then the pocket also comes with the layer. And then Marshall um, stenciled all of the layers. You can see with the all about lace stencil. And then the rose is right here on the top of the of the tag. Also, this like really soft and print colors. Yes, Louis, thank, tag, thank you. <laughs> the words are escaping me today. Uh, and this is card from B, and B used like really pretty look like purple, uh, pink, purplish pink kind of colors. I can't wait again, can't wait to see all of these cards um, in life, uh, hold them in my hands. And uh, look at all of this kind of dimension that um, B was able to achieve with markers on Mars's ringlets here. And such pretty coloring, so much dimension on, on Mars's hair. And then we have... Um, some um, elements, some design on Mars's dress and really pretty folds. And then B used the stencil. So this is the border that I was showing. So uh, B has one in the center and then one on the top and one on the bottom to kind of fill this whole area. And then we have our teacup and teacup is die cut. See how it's die cut from plain green cardstock, but also it's die cut from the pattern paper. And the pattern paper is this, again, this paper right here from Love You More paper pack. So just different ideas here. And then um, the flower, what the rose was die cut from pink. And now cards from Cami, and you know I love Cami's style because it's like so organic, something like totally different. And um, Cami used um, maybe even watercolors with the stencil. Look how it looks so different with the lace stencil in the background, and then um, with the water Cami watercolors. So with watercolors, Cami achieved this pretty look for the for the card, like so like distress and vintage. And then we have the the tip. Tea cup, uh, tea cup and teapot. So we have the um, cami colored, the tea in there. And then we have our little cat standing in front, sending the cup of chair your way. And then uh, cami used the script sentiment from Marcy on this. And then this card <laughs> also from cami. You can, you can tell which ones are cami's card. Look at this. Look at how different Marcy looks, and look like look at all of this coloring, you guys. This is just so 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 amazing. And then um, Cami also used the stencil, so this is the oval stencil here, so you can kind of see faintly the roses all the way around. And then here Cami used, so see it's like so different. This is like in black and grays, but it's just so so pretty with just the accents, you know, like Marcy's skin tone, and then the the burgundy and the roses, and then the teacup. But this rose, I just wanted to point out, was die cut from cardstock. And then um, either colored or inked, I'm not sure. It looks like it might have been inked. But also, do you see those lighter pieces? And they're also like leaves. This looks like they're cut from vellum. So there's two, three layers of vellum there, and there are also vellum leaves. I'm going to try that. This creates just really such a soft and pretty effect. And then we have the sentiment that's also... Um, from from Marcy. Now this one is from Bia, uh, from and Bia used here paper from from Christmas paper packs. So you can see, like definitely, you can find in almost all of our paper packs. You can find something to to make it work. So we have the the tag here again, and then this is also from um, Christmas paper pack. The kind of notes notes paper there, and then we have the teapot die cut from craft card stock, and then from the pattern paper. The other elements die cut from uh, pattern paper and then the roses are here from Wonderland and this is from the border. So even this is, even though these are the different type of roses, but B was able to just ink just the rose, uh, the tops of the roses without the, the stems there. And then we have the teacup. The teacup is almost like camouflaged here because it's from the same pattern paper. But you guys can see there is a teacup that was die cut from pattern paper and from craft card stock. And then we have our two little cats here, a cup full of birthday wishes. And the teacup is, or the teapot is tilted like it's pouring the tea into the teacup. And then this is the um, another one from Marsha. And again, Marsha um, uh, uh, used pencils. Look at this cat. Look at all of these colors. Just so, so pretty. And this is so clever. I just now noticed it. I didn't even notice it when I was looking at it. So Marsha used the, the die cut for the saucer, but then this whole... This whole the uh, stamp is just sitting inside of the 
saucer so that's so pretty and then the leaves are coming from under there so then we have the teapot um, probably white inked with a little bit of blue and then we have our border stencil there the lace border and the sentiment tea warms the heart and comforts the soul you can see this is pretty it's almost like one layer card with just elements added to it but it's just all of this all of this uh products make such pretty cards and now um another one from marcia and again, Mar uh, Marsha, uh, these are also penciled color, just such pretty coloring, so such soft and pretty coloring. And here, Marsha added roses on Marcy's dress on the top here. And again, the cat is colored. I just adore this coloring, just so, so pretty. And then we have, again, the um, lace stencil, the border here, then the one of the round lace um, doilies stencil there. Then we have our rose die cut behind the cat and they're both standing together you're terrific now this card is from sam and from samantha and um see how samantha created the background with the die cuts so die cuts are just put together and glued onto the paper and it creates like a background design so pretty and you can notice that um sam die cut tip cups from paper from uh let me see from from spring has sprung paper pack yep so from some of these papers and the way that um, Sam arranged them here so I kind of want to point out so um, like this this um, so like see this teacup has the plain blue on the front and then this teacup has this from the pattern paper so like mix and match so like this one has the uh, cardstock on front and paper on the bottom but this one has paper in front and then you would have the the other part on the bottom so definitely you can kind of like die cut from different colors and you can mix and match for for more dimension and then it, again just so like a simple you know like i know it's it has all of this uh you know it's it's still a lot of work i'm not <laughs> i'm not saying this is not a lot of work to assemble all of this teacup but when you look at it as a card as the whole it creates just such a clean kind of look to it but still has a lot of impact because there's just like there's a circle here and then we have the little cat and again um sam also cut this cat out from here and put him inside of the die cut teacup and then we have the sentiment how do you have how do you take your tea and the sentiment was stamped on the on the long flags border on the long flags die and now we have um this card from sam and this thing this is the last one i have to, for the show and tell um this both of these cards the last one and this one from uh, sam will be posted next week on the blog but because um sam already made them and i was printing them out i wanted to point it out because this is like my only chance kind of to um to do the show and tell but look at this folds first of all like look at this folds you guys that sam created here and this part of the dress is paper piece now see this so <coughs> excuse me so you can see like both of these cards are from sam so you can see here sam paper piece this part of the dress but on this dress sam paper piece the other parts and sam is like queen of paper piecing because look at this all of these little pieces that sam was able to find the cut and then on this card do you guys see a china cabinet is this an amazing china cabinet here with the little cups and the saucers stacked inside of it inside of the windows and you inside of the windows i gave it away but you probably already saw it so this is our window die and then we have the window seals on the top and the bottom for like the floor uh, floorboard and the, the top of the china cabinet and then we have the little rose here so so creative so these are just some ideas just uh different ways to use this product and again this uh, this set is available on um if if you're a subscriber you were built already for this kit and we're going to start shipping next week as soon as we get the stamps in the dice are here ready all of the dice are here ready the dice are ready to go but we are waiting on the stamps so once the stamps are in, we're going to start shipping. And I can't wait for you all to start playing with this cute set. Um, if you are not yet a subscriber and you would like to join the club and start receiving the kits every month, 
the monthly subscription cost is $39.99. The value of this kit is $79.99, so you're saving 50%, so half off. You can't find that kind of deal anywhere, I don't think. And um, the minimum term is three months. That's how we can offer this, this kind of pricing. And then after three months, it's just gonna roll over from month to month. And if you, uh, if you're not ready or if you're not interested in the subscription, we have another option. You can just purchase this, all of this product. So two rubber stamps and three die, three dies as the um, standalone kit. And again, the value of the kit. So you're going to get exactly everything the same. So the value of the kit, of the kit is $79.99, but your pricing will be $59.99. So you're going to get 25% savings, which is also a great deal. We only, I think, do 25% off ever if we do like the uh, Black Friday sale, something like that. Some really, really special sale. <laughs> so this is um, $59.99 and no subscription required. Both of these options you'll find on our website at lalalandcrafts.com. So and from there, just click on Kit and Club of the Month. So since I have you here, just a few things that I wanted to mention. We are still um, taking pre-orders, pre-order pricing for our spring box. So spring box is not a subscription, it's just a quarterly box that um, it, it's another, another thing that we do. And this box, um, I don't. I can't even fit it in the whole area in the whole thing. So the um, the pre-order pricing is eighty nine ninety nine. The value of the products in this box will be over one hundred thirty two dollars. So you can see you're gonna get huge savings. This is um, also um, right now like a secret kind of box because we don't show the products um, until the product reveal. Once uh, once the products are revealed, the price is gonna go up to one or two, I think. So that's now it's the great time to pre-order and also it's available on, um, on our website at lalalandcraft.com. Just click from there on um, um, spring box. Another thing I want to mention that we are going to have next year in January, we're going to have open it, Barbara is saying, Barbara, I can open it. I can definitely open it because it's empty. <laughs> we don't have uh, all of the products yet, just yet. So this box is just the empty box. So here you go. I opened it. <laughs> That's funny. So, um, um, we're going to have in January of 2025, we're going to have our first coming back in person event we have we have had our um annual retreats since i think 2015 we had it every year and in california and pacifica and we stopped of course uh, for pandemic and 2025 will be our first year coming back but this retreat will be in um in Arizona, in um, Barbara, remind me what's the what's the name of the city? Tempe, Arizona. So the signups are not open yet. Um, I'm still finalizing the contract. So once I sign the contract, um, we're going to open signups, and you'll be able to you know do your room reservations and, and things like that. So it will be at the, the Drury Hotels the Jewelry Hotel in Tampa, Arizona, and the dates are January 23, 20, 27th. So 23rd is the Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, on Thursday, it's not going to be a full day. It's going to be, yes, Jewelry Inn. Thank you. Jewelry Inn. Yes, Jewelry Inn Hotel. Um, on, the, on, on Thursday, it will be just meet and greet in the evening, and we'll have the schedule for you, of course, ahead of time, and it's plenty of time, it's January. Um, so you can arrive even on, um, on morning of the, of the 23rd, and then um, on the 27th, we're going to finish at around um, five or six, so um, depending, you know, how, if you want to do your flights, fly out on, Sunday night or if you want to stay and fly out on Monday morning because we're going to have the full day but we're going to finish probably around six o'clock because we need to um we'll need to break down and have everything out of the room um by whatever whatever hour they tell us to be uh, to be out of and we're going to have um classes we're going to have 
um, you know, you're going to get the goodie bags, like, you know, the whole whole shebang, the whole ordeal like we, we used to do. And we're going to have some, well, what we used to do, but we're also going to have some coloring classes, kind of like what we do our virtual events now. So kind of combination, because, you know, we learn, we learn uh, as we go, we learn how things work, what works the best. We, we, we listen to your input. So we're going to, we're going to structure it a little bit differently. So we're going to have coloring classes and we're going to have a uh, project classes as well. So if you want to put these dates on your save the date kind of thing, and then we are going to um, open signups in a couple of days. So I think this is all from me for today. Um, I don't I don't think I am forgetting anything. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you can, once the live is over, you can't comment on the chat anymore, but you'll be able to comment on the video itself once, it just, once it's um, on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you like this kit. And I can't wait to see what you all do with it. Make sure you're um, in our Facebook group and share with us. And once we get the stamps out, I'll schedule the color along and craft along. Yes, and Barbara, yes, less than a month until create. So the um, actually next week I'm leaving for, for the event, in-person event um, that's hosted by the store in Yosemite. It's about 100 attendees there. So I'll be teaching classes there. And then in May, I'll go, I'm going to be at um, Simon Craft and Create. So if any of you are going to Simon Craft, Craft and Create, let you know make sure you stop by by our booth to say hello give me a hug but also we're going to have some project there and barbara will be there um and then in july i will be in texas again um at the event there so if any of you are in texas i think we had some people we have our we had some of our people and for that um, i'm going to be teaching three classes there and for that event you don't have to participate in the crop you'll be able to just walk in to do the classes but i'll have more information once they let me know what what time uh, for my classes each day i'll i'll, I'll announce that okay you guys thank you so much appreciate you all sending you all much love thanks again bye for now